Hello everyone. So if you guys follow me on Instagram, I posted pictures that I got um, some stuff from Target. I got my tax return in finally after like it seems like a month and 6,000 like complications later, we finally got our taxes and so I ordered a whole bunch of, well, I didn't order, I got a ton of stuff. I ordered some things from Sephora, so I'm really excited. You guys are going to see a video from that. So I got some high-end stuff. Pretty excited about that. And then, like, my Ipsy bag shipped. My um, Beauty Army bag shipped. Sephora is almost here. And then I got some stuff from Target. And I had a buckle gift card from Christmas time, so I ordered a Katy Perry perfume, which is already here, and I have to go tomorrow to pick up. So, ton of stuff. But this time, I'm going to show you all the stuff I got from Target. And I think I have, like, one or two things from Walmart, but don't tell. Don't tell Target that I bought from Walmart. Because Target's my favorite store. So, anyways, going to go through all this stuff and show you all what I got. So, oh, yes, and I also got, like, one or two things from the mall, uh, the it's called Wakefield Beauty Connection that's in our local mall here because they had NYX stuff actually went in for my shampoo and they also had a new NYX display which was so gorgeous and so I like shopped some of their stuff and yeah I guess I'll just show you guys that first because I'm like talking about it and so you guys are like can we see what it is so this is the shampoo that I got I have been using the Tresemme um, shampoo for colored hair for a while and it did the job but it wasn't like super great and my husband when he got me that big box of stuff if you guys watched my Christmas box haul I had some samples of Redken the color extend shampoo and I think maybe the conditioner but at least the shampoo and I used it and it was the best stuff ever it made my hair feel so amazing after just one wash and it made me just feel really clean and it got rid of the oil and my hair stayed like amazing for days I just could not say enough good things about it the unfortunate part is at the time it was really expensive and when I bought this like when I told my husband how much it was he was like holy crap that's what you spent on a shampoo and I was like yeah but it'll last forever so this was $25 but it's a huge bottle it's 33 ounces and this is probably going to last me hopefully through the whole summer so and it smells really good too so that was the other thing that like drew me to this is the fact that it smells really good it just has a, a really clean slightly fruity scent but it just it's the part that cleans my hair that really gets me. It just is amazing. And my hair like looks and feels super healthy today. And I ha all I did was wash it. So I'm pretty excited about that. Okay, on to the next stuff. You guys, I found my newest Holy Grail lip gloss ever. So I got the NYX. This is the NYX Butter Gloss. And I got this one in... Um, peaches and cream if you can see it there and this stuff is seriously the best lip gloss ever and there's a reason they named it butter gloss because when it goes on your lips it is super buttery it has it kind of feels like a balm almost in like the creaminess it's like seriously so creamy but it has like a little bit not like a lot of shine like a super shiny lip gloss but it has enough of a shine that it's like you can tell it's a lip gloss and it has the like color like pigmentation of a lipstick and the color is just phenomenal and let me actually see if I can swatch it like I seriously cannot say enough good things about this oh and the other thing is that when I put it on I seriously did not have to reapply it for about three to four hours and for a lipstick or lip gloss that is a long time because normally I'm, I feel like I'm applying it like every five minutes and this I did not have to reapply for hours and so it is just the prettiest like pink color known to man and of course camera's not playing nice but whatever so you guys can see it. it's just this beautiful beautiful like peachy pink kind of corally color and it was just oh my gosh I love it so much cannot say enough good things so I rec raved for five minutes about that and then I also picked this up too this is a NYX what is this NYX crystal or liquid crystal liner you guys can tell that I'm like super hyped up right now so I'm like tripping over myself but that's what that looks like and yeah, it's just this liquid eyeliner, and I got this one. They had, like, every shade, and I was going to buy the purple one, 
and I might still go back and buy the purple one, but I decided to do the black one because if I do like a cat eye or just even on my lashes, like what I did is I actually took this and I like put a little bit on my eyelashes and it like gave them this like little bit of sparkle and so I just thought it was cool for that and I've never tried it. So um, yeah, got that crystal black shimmery glittery eyeshadow. Okay, moving on to the next step. Mm, we're going to talk about this next because it's my other favorite. So, ever since it came out and everybody's been raving, talking, whatever about it on YouTube, I was like, okay, I have to get one because I have to get in this whole lip gloss craze. And it's the L'Oreal, this color, I think it's the lip, oh my gosh, I cannot think. What do they call it? It's L'Oreal Riche aqua I don't know it doesn't have the name on the dang package and so you don't know what it's called and the the shade that I got is rose on it and on um, and a lot of people were saying that the shade that it looks like in the tube comes out a little bit darker on your lips and as you can see like just from the picture there that's a little bit lighter and it translates at least it looks on camera a little bit different but it's I didn't find it to be like too much it's like maybe a shade or half a shade darker but it's not enough that like it was disappointing but this stuff also like I guess this would be kind of like a first impressions because I've just worn it today and I don't do full full reviews for stuff like until I've tried it for a week or two but as a first impression this stuff was amazing so I wore the butter gloss yesterday because that's when I bought it and I bought this today and that's when I wore it today or maybe I bought it yesterday and just wore it today whatever so yeah I got it and I put it on and the color was gorgeous like it is this amazing color um, it's I don't know how to describe the feel it's not sticky like when you pat your lips there's no transfer of color whatsoever and so that was amazing because it's kind of a stain and people always say it's comparable to YSL well I am broke and I cannot afford a YSL so I do not know if it's comparable to that but I do know that there is nothing drugstore wise that compares to this so um, here's what the wand looks like it has kind of a weird wand like Maybelline came out with ones that had wands like this and they were horrible but and I'll swatch this like on my hand too so you can see it but it's really really creamy and it's super layerable like I put on one coat and it was pretty and then I put on a second coat and I was like this is even prettier but um, underneath there that's what the shade is and it's just so freaking pretty and the thing that I liked about it is not only was there no transfer of color but it's super long wearing I've had this same like swipe on for probably like all day and I have not had to reapply it at all and it's not drying at all it's very moisturizing um, it is not sticky at all. It doesn't smell weird. It is just so amazing. The only slight thing that I noticed with this that is my only slight complaint is that it feathered a little bit. So on my bottom lip there, it started to feather. And so I actually got, I'll show you those next, but I got a couple of lip liners to wear with it because that's the only downside is that because it's a stain, I think, and my lips are very susceptible to feathering that's what it did a little bit so like I looked in the mirror and I was like holy crap like I was starting to see it so I like had to touch it up but that's the only downside otherwise this is the best stuff ever and I think I will definitely go and buy like all the rest of them so not really but I will buy some more okay so I picked up two lip liners just um before I got home actually to not only because I don't own any lip liners but because with that I'm definitely going to need one and so these two are by Rimmel these are their exaggerate full color lip liners and I just got one in a nude kind of shade and then I got a pink one too so the nude one I got here is in innocent 32 innocent and I'm just gonna swatch these in between the lip shades on my hand here and then this one is in the shade East End Snob and when I was looking at good lip liners online like this was recommended and as a shade and a one so um, that one there is East End Snob and then if you go underneath there that is um, what is that the innocent okay so I have to slow down a bit and then I just realized that I bought two awesome new nail polishes and they're sitting in the rack over there and I might grab them I might not because I don't like to disappear from the camera but I always forget things because I'm like so like like what is that ADD yep I'm ADD okay and I seriously have like so much makeup on my hands if I'm gonna swatch anything else I gotta get rid of it so 
I'm just going to do a little swipey swipey. Oh, look at that. You guys, I've only, I remember I swatched that, like, this stuff not too long ago, and it leaves a stain on there already. That's, like, not coming off. Wow. I'm kind of nervous because I've had this on my lips all day, so I'm like, I hope that comes off with makeup remover. So, yes, I just licked my hand. Wow, that's, like, really not coming off, so I think that's a good thing. Okay, and then what am I going to go on to? Um, this is just kind of a, I bought another Maybelline Great Lash and I bought it in clear because I use just powder to fill in my brows occasionally. Well, no, I don't use pencil because I don't like the way pencil feels on my brows. Like, I don't like the way it looks and I don't like the way it feels because it drags too much and it's just a hassle. So I just fill it in with powder and then I got this to set it because my eyebrows on the ends and some places started going all crazy. And so I just got this stuff to... Um, set it so that they're not, you know, all over the place. So, like my hand motions there. Oh, okay, take a breath. Um, oh, and in case you were wondering, that's what the package looks like. I already dug into it, so. And then I bought another one of these L'Oreal, like, eyeshadow quads, and I got this one in Cup of Joe, which has just got some really pretty brown matte shades. Um, I just got this because I'm more into like wearable looks and stuff lately and so I got this because it had some pretty awesome matte colors and I figured I could use one or two of them to fill in my brows and if I'm feeling like wearing browns but I don't want like a bronzy brown I could wear that and it's supposed to bring out your blue eyes so there's that and I liked the other one enough that like I decided to buy another one so and I had a coupon for it don't go wrong with coupons Mm, okay, I'm going to go into these Almay things because there was a friend of mine that was like all excited for these. So I got two of the Almay Intense Eye Color, um, what are these, shadow sticks. And I got them because everybody on YouTube raves, raves, raves about the Revlon Smoky Shadow Sticks or whatever. And most people like the one in Torch. And I had a coupon for buy one, get one, like free an Alme, so I got two of them for the price of one, and it was only five dollars, so I got two of these for five dollars, so why not? And I got one, the one for hazel eyes, and the one for blue eyes, because they were pretty similar to Torch. So this one has a brown shade in it, um, that is just, it's just pretty much just a brown. And so, I'll swatch that on my hand so you can see it. And so, that's what the brown, oops, where is it? There, that's what the brown shade looks like. So it's a pretty, you know, just a matte brown, you know, nothing super special about it. And actually the eye look that I'm wearing right now, I am wearing it. So, and I did notice, um, well, I'll talk about that in a sec. Jumping ahead of myself here. And then it has like a really pretty pink shade on the other side there. So it has pink. And so I'll swatch it right next to it so you can see it. And then I'll talk about like my first impression, what I thought of it. So there's those two. I don't know if you can see that, but the other one's like super light. Okay, so first impression of this, since I'm just going to make this a first impression slash haul video, so spur of the moment. Um, first impression, it was really creamy gliding on, but in order to get enough like color payoff, I had to like roll it back and forth quite a bit. And so, I don't know, I'll play with it some more, but as far as that goes... I honestly, like, my eye kind of hurt from, like, trying to, like, roll the color on so you could see it enough. And, I mean, I don't know. So that part of it was a little bit obnoxious. But I did notice it's creamy, and then it dries to a very matte finish. And when it dries, you can actually build on it. So I actually could, because when I first put the darker um, color in the corners here, it wasn't very dark, and because it was going over the pink, it was just pretty much blending in with it, and so it was just not very dark. But then, like, I was fiddling around with the rest of my face makeup, and then I went back to darken it again, and I noticed it got really dark. So once it dries, you can layer it. So that is really nice about this, is that once you get it on there, and it, like, dries or sets a little bit, you can build on it some more. So you can go over the pink again, you can go over the brown again, and make it much darker. And so that was nice about that. And then the other awesome thing about this, too, is it's a very wearable, everyday shade. And it's really pretty, and you, I didn't crease at all. So I used my, normally I use Lime Crime for shadows that I'm not sure of, because with Lime Crime, the Candy Eyed Eyeshadow Helper, it, once you put that on, like, it doesn't matter what eyeshadow you're wearing, it's not going anywhere, and it's not going to crease. Like, at least I've noticed that, and I have a pretty oily face. So even in the camera, my face looks, like, so horribly oily right now. I just feel like it's gross, but... Yeah, so I did like that about that. So I just wore, I wore two-faced shadow insurance underneath it, and 
it hasn't creased like you know and it still feels pretty smooth it doesn't come off at all so I did really like that and then I haven't opened this one up yet but I'm gonna open it real quick so that I can swatch it for you guys Um, this is the one for blue eyes and I have blue eyes I got the one for hazel eyes too because the color the pink color reminded me or looked a little bit more like the color um, of torch and I'm not sure and I wanted to get something similar to that to kind of see you know what was the rave about and see if these are similar so um oh my gosh always happens and then okay so this one has it looks like it's a little bit darker of a brown and i'll get to try ooh, oh my gosh okay wow that is definitely a darker brown get in the camera okay so see that that is that brown and that's the other brown so this i'm gonna wear this tomorrow and i got a feeling that's gonna have a lot better payoff um, that's the other thing with this one too is the one for hazel eyes is it's not super pigmented and so you got to really build the color in order to get um, you know like a darker color but this one holy crap that is very pigmented it's this rich bronzy like chocolatey brown that's gorgeous and then this other side is kind of a gold like a pretty gold color ooh I like this one better already just like the colors and so I don't know if you can see that there you go so there's that kind of a bronzy brown and then there's like the gold next to it that is so pretty so yeah um <clears throat> overall I am not super duper impressed with the one for hazel eyes but I'm gonna try this one out tomorrow and hopefully it'll wear the same because it was very pigmented on my hand and this one if you're not looking to wear a lot of makeup or if you just want a pretty like just a soft eye you know kinda this this whole makeup look I did today was very soft and neutral I just used bronzer use this you know it wasn't a lot of stuff so if you're looking for that like over the summer this will be a good one so if you're looking for a little bit more drama this is probably gonna be a good one and I only say that because the swatch on my hand is blowing me away right now okay I only have a few more things to go and good thing too because I am running out of breath okay so my I think it was my ipsy bag I got the Pixie Flawless and Poreless Face Primer. And if you guys did not know, I raved and raved and raved about it. It is the best primer on the planet. It is incredibly creamy, very moisturizing. It deals with my oily skin impeccably. Like, I cannot say enough good things about it. It is my holy grail primer. I will never buy another primer ever again. And if this ever goes discontinued, I will buy all of them. Um, even though that's like 30 bucks each, I will just take out a bank loan and buy all of them. Yep. Okay, so there's what the box looks like. There's what that looks like. So flawless and poreless face primer is the best stuff ever. And so it has this like slightly peachy kind of tone to it. Um, I'll just get like a little bit on my hand there so you can kind of see what it looks like. Even though it's just primer, so it's nothing special. But yeah, there's what it is. Oops. But yeah, it's just super creamy. It just blends into my skin perfectly. Like, I don't have to worry about, like, blending it really well. It just melts into my skin. I have never come across a better primer. And I've used every primer from Almay to Elf to um, L'Oreal. I tried Revlon. I tried Smashbox, you know, like the high-end one. None of them. And the other thing I noticed about this is that it's water-based. And all of the stuff that I've used on my skin lately that has been water-based instead of silicone-based has been awesome. So I don't know what it is about water-based products, but for me and my oily skin, they're phenomenal. So this stuff, even though it was my most, well, second most expensive purchase other than my Sephora stuff, was worth every penny. And as soon as this runs out, I will buy it again. I just love it. So, <clears throat> okay. And then these, these aren't really anything special. I don't, I think I've showed you guys these before. In order, in uh, going along with my shampoo, I was going to get the deep repair mask, but I decided to get some other stuff instead. And so I still might get that eventually. And then I would, I also want to get the, it's a 10 conditioner because that stuff was phenomenal. I used some samples of it and I loved it. But for now, I also really love these. These are $1.29 each. It's from Palmer's. It's the Coconut Oil Deep Conditioning Protein Pack. So you use these like once or twice a week and you use like half of it each time. That's what I do. I use half the package because there's two uses for me in it. You could probably use a lot less, but when I deep condition my hair, I like drench it in conditioner. And so I only do that like once in a while. And it's like my hair has been a lot healthier because of it. And so, yeah, there's that. And they have like no sulfates. They're, you know, they're organic or whatever. So, anywho... 
Okay, I'm gonna wipe more makeup off my hand here. It's driving me nuts. Oh my gosh, there's like makeup everywhere. Okay, I only have a couple more things here. This I found on clearance. This is just a Body Ecology Vanilla Sugar Body Scrub. I just happened to notice it when I was walking down. I was looking for contact solution and I saw the clearance thing. So I was like kind of looking around and I was like, hey, body scrub is like $1.34. I'll take it. And it's vanilla sugar and it smells divine. If you guys go to Bath and Body Works and you know they're warm vanilla sugar, this is pretty much an exact dupe for it. It smells just like it. And it was only a dollar. 34 and it's a body scrub so okay two more things I swear like I thought I was almost done now I'm almost done okay BB creams everybody knows those were the huge rave thing last year and I tried the Maybelline and the L'Oreal BB cream and the Maybelline BB cream I had was too light for my skin the L'Oreal one was awful it was too orange and so I and I didn't like them they didn't work well for me and I just I don't know I felt like BB creams were a little bit overhyped anyways this summer I don't wear a lot of heavy foundation during the summer so I still wanted a BB cream but I didn't want one I wanted one that was a little bit more high-end and I don't know so I did a ton of research because I always research my products when I buy more expensive products and I got this one this is the Garnier BB cream I heard great great things about this um, either this one or the Olay fresh effects and I was gonna get that one but I decided on this one because I had this one had slightly better reviews and um, it says it has for even tone and oil control all day shine control so I will test that to the limit because my face is an oil slick and it just says um, you know it's a skin perfecter it controls shine minimizes pores evens hydrates all that jazz light medium um when you when i took it out because i'm one of those people like when i buy makeup like immediately after purchasing it i'm taking it out i'm playing with it i'm swatching it you know i have it all over and i come home or my husband comes home and i have like makeup all over my face and he's like what the heck it's like picasso had a party on my face so um, and when I opened it up, I was kind of scared because it looks a little bit dark. So I don't know if you guys can see that in camera, but I was like, that is pretty dark. You're like, it's kind of orange, or it looks like that to me anyways. And like somebody online has said it had kind of a peach like undertone to it. And I was like, uh-oh, it's like going to be too dark for my face. But I swatched it on my hand, and as soon as I rubbed it in, it disappeared. So I'm going to try this on my face tomorrow, and hopefully it'll do the same thing. And it'll give like a little bit of color to my face because I have like a neutral or natural skin tone but it leans slightly more to the warm side and so this hopefully will do well for it okay almost done and I am starving okay last thing I got was an impulse purchase it was three dollars it was elf it was an impulse purchase that's all it is and it is their studio concealer and ivory and I don't know why I bought this other than the fact that I wanted a stick concealer instead of the normally normal concealers I have which were all liquids you know which go into my eyes and I wanted a stick concealer and so I bought this one and so there it is there's my little stick concealer so it was completely an impulse buy it was honestly it was because like I've been thinking about stick concealers all day because there's one girl I watched on to you to tube YouTube that um, she was talking about her like holy grail um, concealer and it was $70 for the thing and it wasn't very big and I was like holy crap like uh, props for you to having that much money to spend on a little thing of concealer this big and she even said she's like yeah there's not very much product in it and I'm like it's 70 bucks I was like my whole Sephora purchase didn't even cost $70 and that's just one little concealer anyways enough about that so impulse buy all right so i'm sure you guys are tired of listening to me by now and this video is getting ridiculously long and i'm starving because i'm on this huge like hungry bin i'm pretty sure um yes i'm gonna say it on camera i'm pretty sure i'm gonna be pmsing soon and so i'm just like if you guys ever see there's a picture that i posted i think to my facebook if you guys follow me on facebook and it showed this like picture of this girl and she was like is like seven days before my period and she's like all stuff in her face and it was like two days before my period and she's like bawling her eyes out that's totally me I am on the hungry binge eat everything in the house stage and so I've literally been eating my husband at a house and home so I will let you guys go and I'll see you in my next video and I'm gonna go eat bye